to license it. Meep, meep. Hi everybody and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Matchbox Makeovers. I'm Andrew and on the bench today is a 1 to 69 scale Matchbox Ford LTD Police Cruiser. It's one of the most popular and well-loved castings that Matchbox ever produced. Mine is almost worn down to the bare metal. The decals are almost impossible to read. It needs a wheel swap but I'll do my best to make it look brand new in the end. Make sure to get all subbed up to my channel so as not to miss any of the summer builds coming up, including my epic Gaslands War Rig. I'll post updates on my other social media sites. The Ford LTD was produced from 1987 to 2001 as number MB184. It's come out in all kinds of colors and combinations over its production run and has sported different badges including Virginia State Police, Florida Highway Patrol, State Trooper, and State Police New Jersey. It's also appeared with Fire Department and Fire Chief designs. The other common variant is the Ford LTD Taxi. This cruiser sports a light bar on its roof with a noteworthy design being attached from the inside of the car body but not being part of the window plastic. This allows the light bar and the windows to be different colors while the light bar can't become detached during hard play. This design was also used for the Plymouth Grand Ferry of 1979 and with the beacons on several earlier emergency vehicles. Oh, sometimes it's the police themselves who have a fender bender. I'm dedicating this police cruiser video to my online friend Chip, the diecast sheriff. Your absence from YouTube has been felt, and I sure hope you're coming through this difficult time as well as I know you will. We miss you, buddy, and I look forward to having you back soon. The Ford LTD is a range of automobiles manufactured by Ford Motor Company for the 1965 to 1986 model years. Introduced as the highest trim level of the full-size Ford model range, the LTD introduced options and features normally reserved for more luxurious Lincoln and Mercury models. Ma'am, I'm going to need your phone number, please. Can I have your phone number? Through its entire production, Ford produced option packages for the LTD Crown Victoria, optimizing it for usage as a police car. Competing against Chevrolet's Impala and Caprice and the Dodge Diplomat and Plymouth Grand Fury, the LTD Crown Victoria with the police package was upgraded for heavy duty use, including a reinforced frame, upgraded suspension and brakes, larger wheels and tires, and improved engine cooling. Other changes were made to accommodate police equipment, including heavy-duty interior materials, provisions for additional lights and sirens, and a 140 mile per hour speedometer. I want to give a shout out to a good friend of mine who lives in Spain. Danny is the proprietor of the YouTube channel Ibero Tuning. And I invite you to dial in there, especially to see his custom Porsche Carrera 96 that you see here. Outstanding work, Danny. I put a link in the description so you can get all subbed up at Ibero Tuning and tell them Andrew sent you. I'd appreciate it. The LTD would just be a plain white casting if it weren't for all of the police decals. And so I have carefully recreated these as closely as possible, but I couldn't find the original police badge 
So I found the closest equivalent that I could. Just bear in mind that this channel is about making toys for kids. And the kids aren't usually pure, so they're not going to mind. As long as it says police on it somewhere. I put a 106 on the roof because this is makeover number 106 for me. I usually do that on a license plate and identify it as one of my cars somehow. And you can see the rest of the 911 and police decals. And here's the hardest move is this long one piece also with the badge that goes on both the driver and passenger sides. I think overall I've really achieved a, a very close to original look here. As I put my channel logo on the bottom you'll see that the police are investigating a fresh batch of donuts. The wheels were really letting the LTD down and so I'm going to swap them out with a big upgrade using a set of Samad wheels. They're a sponsor of my channel and I can heartily endorse their product. They were able to ship to me in Switzerland within a matter of days. Contact information for Samad is on the workmen. I'm ready to put all the parts back together now. I have reattached the red beacon light to the one-piece blue windshield and it's ready to go in first. And just give that a little pressure and it pops in as it should. The interior is untouched and the base was painted black just to match the black and white color motif. And the two screws have already been pre-fitted and they go in nicely. I'm going to touch them up with a little bit of flat black paint to make them invisible on the underside of the chassis. I check the suspension and everything is bueno. Let's have a closer look. You see the decals turned out very very well. They're really true to the original. I didn't do tail lights and license plates and headlights. I wanted to leave this one matchbox stock, but I did take time to add a Ford badge on the trunk. Opa, that was just for you. Notice the radar gun on the driver's side rear window and the spotlights mounted at the back of the front fenders. It really was tired out looking when I got a hold of this originally, but this channel's all about fixing up beat up old cars and hopefully they turn out as well as this one did for me today. I'll leave you with some glamour shots from the bench and you can see it from the front and the back. I'm totally pleased with how this one turned out. The wheels are looking very sharp on that and I'm happy to put this into a blister pack and send it to the Goodwill shop where I think it'll make a terrific toy for a little boy or girl. I want to thank you for visiting my channel today and regularly appreciate all my subscribers. Give this video a thumbs up, won't you? And be sure to leave your respectful comments below and tell me where you're watching from. I hope you're having a super summer and I welcome you to come back anytime and often. It's coffee time.